I'll set you up with a credit card, your own bank account, and if you ever need cash, right here in the top drawer. Jason, thanks for everything. I should be the one uh, to thank you for going along with this. Are you doing anything next Thursday? I don't think so. Why? We're getting married. Married? To you? No, no. Not a chance. Why is marrying me such a big problem? Where do I start? First of all, marriage was never a part of our deal. You and I are not a union. We're pretending you're the baby's father for our own reasons. Right, and the next logical step to cover this lie is marriage. Marriage isn't for people like us, Jason. It's for lovers. Remember that part when a couple decides they want to be together forever? The man I am tied to is Sonny, not you, and I'm not about to change that by entering some loveless farce with you. Remember how you wonder sometimes how things could get any worse? Well, that's how. And trust me, things are already bad enough. Do I get to talk now? We are not getting married, and that's final. Okay, I listen to you. I don't get the same courtesy. Go ahead. Oh, thanks. Mm -hmm. um, if I'm going to help you raise this child, my first priority is that it has a stable environment. Okay? And that means we need to be married, and that means we share the same last name. <laughs> Yeah, I'm what? Max seems to be making his rounds. I won't take much of your time. I tried to give your boss some information, but I don't think he actually heard me. Just a second. Oh, right. I almost forgot. You'll have to forgive me. I'm fairly new at this, but when the signal comes, it's pretty hard to miss, isn't it? Okay, then. Yeah, this is me making myself scarce. Jason, consider our discussion closed. I say I most definitely do not take you. Not for all the money in the world. And you know I like money. Here, the search for the baby's father's over. Jax, I really no, don't... No, it's not to explain yourself or justify her. Whatever it is you're going to do. I'm sure Sonny was surprised to hear about you and Jason. Courtney certainly was. I wasn't. Listen, I know I Not know that I hold hurt, Jason I blameless, you know. Helping himself to Sonny's leftovers. Without a thought of loyalty or honor. You have no idea what you're talking about. Jason is twice the man you are. Hands off! Oh, right! God, I can take it from here! Hey, Jason, I happen to have a life, unlike you, so why do you keep interrupting it? You know, why do you have no name drag me in here? You've been trying to take advantage of Sonny's family distractions to further your own ambition, Faith. I'm not in a good mood, so I'm warning you. Stop while you still have the choice. You know, when you were sleeping with Sonny, I didn't think you could stoop any lower. I guess I was wrong. You can say what you want about Jason. He's still an improvement over you. When I got pregnant, he offered me a life and a home for me and my child. What did you offer me, Jax, huh? Money? And you threatened to take my baby away from me? All you care about is money, Sam. I'm sorry I wasn't there for the fitting of Jason's halo. You know, you sound ridiculous. What's going to come out of your mouth next? That you're in love with no, the guy? No, I'll line up with you on that. Jason and I are getting married. The person who is motivated to move against Sonny is Alcazar. And now that Carly has dumped him, he doesn't have to make nice anymore. And Sonny's been distracted lately. He does that a lot. I'm paying he? attention, Faith. That's all you need to worry about. I've got to see him now. Oh, okay. Okay. Wait, Mr. Morgan's going to meet. What the hell do you want? I wanted to congratulate you in person on becoming a father. Oh. You and Bunny are back together. No, that's, uh, that's old news. Uh, Jason finally found someone on his own level, Sam McCall. Oh, oh, this is really too delicious. You've been boffing Sonny's girlfriend and lived to tell the tale. Yes, but that's not all. 
Sam just uh, shared the happy news. Her and Jason are getting married. Is amazing news. Jason, a daddy, the mind positively reels. Well, at least it proves that you're, you're human and marriage too. My goodness, who will be the best man now that Sam has proven that it obviously isn't sunny? <laughs> Tony, keep laughing out here. Why are you still here? Because I wanted to thank you. Seeing you and Sam and your new baby will finally set Courtney free of you. But don't worry. So I'll be there to pick up the pieces. Courtney, Courtney, have some place to be. Please, Sam. I won't take much of your time. You have no idea how sorry I am. You want to be sorry, Sam. Be sorry for Jason. I don't believe for a second that he loves you, but he's the one who got stuck all the same. Jason's a good man. Oh, God, I, don't you dare presume to explain Jason to me. I know him better than anyone. He's only staying with you, Sam, because you tricked him by getting pregnant, and it isn't in him to walk away. Sam, you finally hit the jackpot. So sit back and enjoy your life. But I swear to you, if you hurt him, or you use this baby against him, and I find out about it, I will make you regret the day you were born. I want you to keep a close watch on Faith and Alcazar, okay? Look out f for a move from both or... I've been thinking. Maybe marriage isn't such a bad idea after all. But for the baby's sake, if, if you still want to, good to go. I know. Jax was here. That guy has made it his new life's work, running around town telling everyone my business. First the baby, now the marriage. I'm afraid to ask, but what the hell is this? It's a baby carrier. No kidding. Carly must, uh... You left it here. It must be Morgan's. How's it work? Well, it's, uh... You know, it's a backpack. Put this on, baby fits here. The idea is that, you know, the baby can be with you and the, uh, the mom is free to move around. You want to try it? Yeah, why not? Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, this, I think this, this here. You just put your arm in there, okay? Okay. This side. Okay. <laughs> here. 